Sinesha in Croatia writes, I no longer know how to explain the working principles of a digital amplifier to older professionals who work on PA systems. Mm -hmm. Many of them claim that there are no digital amplifiers, but that they are amplifiers that have a switching rectifier in them, and that is why they are called digital. Also, others claim that in addition to switching power supplies, digital amplifiers have DSP, digital signal processing, but that they are still ordinary transistor amplifiers. They claim that an analog signal must go to the speakers, and that's why they cannot be digital, which I agree with. What is the simplest way to explain the working principles of a digital amplifier? <laughs> ah, everybody asks these super simple questions. <laughs> well, okay, there are very few digital amplifiers, like one or two. The majority of ones that we think of as digital amplifiers are actually what we call class D amplifiers. They are not analog, but that doesn't mean that they are digital. A digital amplifier would be something that uses digital data, which would be PCM, DSD, something that we would, that, that is ones and zeros, okay? Maybe that's a better way to put it. So a true digital amplifier would use ones and zeros and somewhere along the way, as we would all agree, at the output that digital signal is converted to analog in the same way that a D to A converter converts anything digital that's been quantized from analog to digital and then back again to digital, okay? So we all agree on that. What we think of as digital amplifiers are actually pulse width modulated amplifiers, PWMs. And there you have, and people call them digital amplifiers because, well, they have zero, they have two states, on and off. So therefore, they're digital. Only, it's not exactly true because they have more than two states. Because they are pulse width modulated, it means that in the on state, it can be on for various amounts of time. So picture something that is running at 100,000 times a second, okay? And every 100,000th of a second, it's either off or on. Okay, that's how come those amps are so efficient. They're either on or off. When amps become inefficient, it's when they are somewhere between on and off. Now, a pulse width modulated amplifier, while it's just on and off, isn't digital because if it were, it would be always on for a very specific amount of time and always off for a very specific amount of time. And the combination of those on off pulses add up to your digital numbers, but that's not what actually happens. The amount of time that a pulse width modulated amplifier in its on state is on can be extremely brief or the full width of what it's allowed. Okay, so everywhere from to all of this. So ev for every hundred thousand, so just picture, here's our one hundred thousandth of a, a second or one second. I mean, whatever you want to think of it as, okay? Here's a window. And when that window's, when it's off, it's just off. When it's on, here's the window. How much it's on, this little bit in this window or this whole bit, okay? The combination of that is what determines how loud the amplifier is. So for every time it's on, if you have the full window is completely covered, that sucker is gonna put out as much power as possible and it'll be a, just a, a, you know, an output square wave essentially, but if you, if you vary the pulse like this, like music, just think of music going up and down, right? Now, now convert that up and down to wider and s smaller. That's all that's happening. So each of those waves is on longer or shorter depending on how high the wave coming in is. And you can take the output of a 
class D PWM amplifier and put it directly into a loudspeaker and it will play music. You don't want to do that because it also, and that those switches we talked about where it's on and off 100,000 times a second, well you want to get rid of those switch, that switch noise. It wouldn't go through a tweeter but it wouldn't make things very happy. So we put a filter on the output of that class D amplifier that gets rid of all that switching noise and what you wind up with is a very clean analog signal. That's what you think of as a digital amplifier and it is not just a transistor amplifier with a switching power supply. Those exist, but that's not what that is. Hope that helps. I'll tell you all these old geezers over here, watch this video and maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> From one geezer to another. <laughs> all right, take it easy. Bye. Thank you.